by using a sophisticated engine, we are not able to make a better car because the importance of auto chassis and the suspension system have a very big role in the development of a better car. The requirement and the characteristics of the suspension system will vary with respect to the driving condition because our suspension requirement for a track performance is very much different that is compared to a normal driving condition that is through the roads. If the suspension used in our automobile is capable of switching between the dampness for various driving conditions, the suspension system will be called as adaptive suspension system. The research and development in nanotechnology made a spark in all industries including automobiles. So the nanotechnology also helps us to make an adaptive suspension system. I am talking about an adaptive suspension that is using a nanotechnology and the suspension is called as magneto rheological fluid suspension system simply called as MRF suspension. For providing better handling during track performance we need a stiffer suspension and for better comfort what we prefer is a softer suspension. So adaptive suspension will be capable of switching between these two hard and soft regions. I know that you know the basic soft suspension system. Now first we are going to look at how an MRF fluid or magnetoreological fluid works. Magnetoreological fluids are filled with iron particles which are in the nano form. And in a normal condition, these iron particles are not aligned each other and they mostly behave like a normal liquid. But things will start to change if the liquid or the magnetoreological fluid is influenced by a magnetic field. Let's check what will happen. In influence of a magnetic field, these iron particles that is inside the magnetoreological fluid get aligned each other. If they got aligned, they will mostly behave like a solid. And with respect to the strength of this magnetic field, the density of the fluid will vary. And the best thing is, by controlling the strength of this magnetic field, we are able to control the solid behavior of this magnetoreological fluid. So we use this characteristics of the magnetoreological fluid for developing an adaptive suspension system. We replace the fluid that is used in a telescopic shock absorber with magnetoreological fluid. And we know that in telescopic shock absorber there is lots of grooves in that pistons and by the traveling of this piston through this fluid will cause the damping effect and the uh, fluid will transfer to the grooves and with respect to the size of the groove uh, the damping effect will vary and uh, there is two possibilities for controlling the effects of damping in a shock absorber we can change the density of the fluid or we can change the size of the groove in, he, in this technology the density of the fluid or the behavior of the fluid will be varied for providing better damping effect in addition, for controlling the behavior of the magnetoreological fluid, we have replaced the piston grooves with an electromagnetic system and by controlling the magnetic strength in the fluid, we are able to provide better damping effect and various damping effect uh, which will satisfy various driving condition of our vehicle. So magnetoreological fluid is one of the options to develop an adaptive suspension system. If you learned about the working of an adaptive suspension system by using magnetoreological fluid, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel to support me and hit the bell icon to get notified when I make a new upload. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and bye.